Hello Stampers, this is Marie Bennett with Wyoming Stampers Anonymous and in this video I'm going to show you how I made this Christmas card using the Year of Cheer Designer Series paper from Stampin' Up. I'm an independent Stampin' Up demonstrator and most of the products used in this video, all the products, are from Stampin' Up. So here I am running the um, piece thinlet through the through the big shot and I'm cutting the word piece out of a piece of copper foil paper. Once the word piece is cut out I take it out of the thinlet using my paper piercing tool and just set it aside because it will be the last thing to go on the card. The rest of the materials used in making this card include a piece of Whisper White cut at 4 by 5 and a quarter, a piece of basic black cardstock cut at 5 and a half by 8 and a half and scored down the middle at 4 and a quarter, a piece of basic gray cut at 4 by 5 and a quarter, a piece of basic black cut at 3 and a quarter by 4 and a quarter, and some one inch square pieces of designer series paper cut from the year of cheer. There are four uh, different patterns of paper in that designer series pack and I just cut one inch squares from each of the four designs. Each card will take three squares of each design. Then from the Wonder of Christmas stamp set I'm using just that one stamp. Uh, for the inside of the card and I'm using basic gray ink so first thing I do is on the whisper white stamp the sentiment and I think it's down about an inch and a half and centered and after I get that stamped then I'm going to take a dauber and just daub the edges all around to kind of soften the edges and make not such a stark contrast between the, the white and the basic black on the inside of the card. Once the stamping is done I take my Tombow glue um, and just put a bead all around then adhere it to the inside of the card leaving about a 1 8 inch border on all four sides. Then on the outside I do the same thing, put a bead of Tombow glue all the way around the basic gray, adhere it to the front of the card, and now uh, the basic card is ready. On the small piece of basic black I apply glue to the back of each square and then just giving a, a scant eighth or maybe a large sixteenth of an inch border on all of the um, sides of each piece just to kind of make it look quilted. I just glue the pieces in place. So you're going to be using three, 12 squares total and really you could use any designer series paper or any, really any paper that you like uh, to create this design. I think it's a great way to use up scraps. So I'm just going to glue each of those squares in place. This is different for me. I, I recorded the video and now I'm talking over the top of the recording and it, it seems like it's taking a long time. <laughs> if I were talking while I was recording it, I don't think it would seem that long. Okay, I've got one more piece to put on and then I start over and repeat the sequence. kind of use the squares in the first row to help you help you keep lined up with the rest of them so I'm showing you I'm done with the sequence and I'm going to start over and repeat the sequence two more times and that will exactly fill that piece of black cardstock the small piece and there you have it. You can see it gives it a diagonal stripe pattern.
And then all I need to do is find that word peace. Oh, I guess I'm going to glue it onto the card first. <laughs> Apply glue to the back of the basic black card stock. And when you put it on the front of the card, it's going to be a wider border. So just try to make it as even as you can, centering that piece so that the sides are about the same and the top and bottom are about the same distance from the edge. And then on the back of this piece, I use the Tombow glue again and uh, just put a small bead all the way around and then what I liked about this is from the tail of the P to the tail that comes off of the final E is exactly the same length as my um, little square piece there so that just kind of finished it off perfectly and I put it at the top because I really wanted the quilted design to be kind of the star of the show thanks for watching